New tonight, we're hearing from the brother of the man shot and killed by police in Woonsocket. We have learned a lot since this was breaking last night at 10 right here on Fox Providence. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. State police identify the man killed by officers as 58-year-old Russell Dufault. According to police, he has a lengthy criminal history in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Here's what we've learned about what led up to the shooting. Police say a woman claimed Dufault assaulted her, that he demanded $80,000. When the state's Violent Fugitive Task Force went in to make the arrest, police say Dufault attempted to flee the scene. Driving his vehicle directly at the officers, striking the United States Marshal, causing him to be thrown onto the hood of Dufault's vehicle. A state police officer was also pinned between two cruisers. That prompted a detective and the U.S. Marshal to open fire. Police have not said whether Dufault fired a weapon at officers or how many shots were fired by police. Today we also learned Dufault was a suspect tied to a robbery at a Pawtucket bank from earlier this week. But new tonight, Dufault's brother is talking only to 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts, recounting the hours leading up to his brother's death and how he has many questions left unanswered tonight. She joins us now live from Portsmouth. Amanda. Well, Mike Shaden, that man's brother tells me he has more questions than answers tonight. Like, why was his brother mortally wounded as police worded it today? And how did those officers know he was in Woonsocket? Just wanted to know why. The brother of Russell Dufault, the man shot and killed by police in Woonsocket Wednesday night, left wondering why the 58-year-old's life had to end the way it did. You can go through the neighborhood here, kind-hearted, loving person always gentle. Nobody knows him as a violent person. And then all of a sudden, one day, that's going to happen. Glenn Dufault says this all started when a safe with $80,000 inside was stolen from Russell's girlfriend's North Providence home. It was all caught on surveillance video, and according to Glenn, Russell recognized one of the men committing the crime and knew where he lived in Woonsocket. He was texting his girlfriend right up until 7 o'clock saying that he's sitting out in front of the house, he hasn't seen the person yet, I'm going to try to get your money, blah, 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 blah. And then this all happened. Amid all of this, police say Russell's ex-girlfriend's sister reported he held her at gunpoint for a half hour, but Glenn claims none of it's true. And she tells me, no, that never happened. It's that violent act that sparked the police search for Russell. With her reporting this, I can understand the cops' views, you know, that he may be armed and dangerous. What I don't understand is how they got to one socket. Watching the press conference this afternoon, did you feel like your questions were answered? No, I actually got angry. Angry because of how his brother is being portrayed. While he has a lengthy criminal record and a drug addiction, his brother says he was a good man and wonders how he could be capable of what he's accused of. Look at his pictures. Does he look like somebody that would do what they're saying? I mean, and it hurts it, knowing what they did. And I just want to get it out that he's not like that. Now, as is customary with these officer-involved shootings, the Attorney General's office is investigating the incident, and those officers involved have been placed on leave. Live in Portsmouth tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.